Hello Explorers! I'm Mark and welcome to another episode of Explore Nueva Ecija YouTube channel. Michelle can't join us today because she's in Davao City visiting her friend. Today is Palm Sunday, April 10, 2022 and I'm going to Mass at St. Nicholas of Tolentine Cathedral here in Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija. Roman Catholic is the predominant religion in the province of Nueva Ecija, Philippines. This is my destination today. This is the facade of the St. Nicholas of Tolentine Parish Cathedral located here in the heart of Cabanatuan City. Right across the cathedral is the historic Plaza Lucero, the death place of General Antonio Luna, one of the most admired heroes in Philippine history. A notable landmark in the vicinity is the branch of the Central Bank of the Philippines. St. Nicholas of Tolentine Parish Cathedral is located along Del Pilar Street corner General Luna Street. It's the ecclesiastical seat of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Cabanatuan. Before I go to Mass, I'll give you a brief tour of the courtyard beside the cathedral. This is where you can find the parish hall, parish office, religious store, and the adoration chapel. There's also an area here where you can light candles for prayer intentions. This relaxing courtyard is decorated with an artificial waterfall and a fountain and landscape with flowering and non-flowering shrubs and plants. This is the interior of St. Nicholas of Tolentine Parish Cathedral. You can truly feel that COVID-19 restrictions have eased up. Today, you can see many children and elderly people inside churches. Thank you, Lord, for the scientists who invented the COVID-19 vaccines. Today is Palm Sunday. It's sometimes called Passion Sunday. In the Christian tradition, it is celebrated on the first day of Holy Week and the Sunday before the Easter. Palm Sunday commemorates the day Jesus entered into Jerusalem as Savior and a King. As Jesus rode a donkey into the town of Jerusalem, a large crowd gathered and laid palm leaves and their cloaks across the road, giving Jesus a royal treatment. Palm Sunday is a movable holiday. Its date changes each year. Many churches celebrate Palm Sunday with the waving of palm leaves. During Palm Sunday Mass, parishioners carry palm leaves or branches. These palms are blessed and many people will fashion them into small crosses or other items of personal devotion. These palms may be returned to the church or kept for the entire year. Since these palm leaves are blessed, they are not discarded as trash. They are appropriately gathered at the church and are burned to ashes that will be used in the following year's Ash Wednesday. Here in the Philippines, Roman Catholic parishioners use coconut leaves instead of the usual palm leaves used in other countries for the celebration of Palm Sunday. We call these Palaspas. Religious freedom is a universal human right, and humans across the globe must live in harmony regardless of their religious affiliations. Our nation, the Philippines, is home to many religions. Respect for religious diversity is an essential element of any peaceful society. Thank you so much for watching, explorers. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye!